Free BSD reviews, tutorials, and gaming. Right. What we first need to do is to install Tor itself. So on the command line as root, or with root permission, I'm going to issue portmaster security forward slash Tor. You can, of course, install with pkg uh, install Tor, uh, but I prefer to do it this way. It doesn't take long anyway. Right, there we're done. The text I'm highlighting, you need to actually put tor underscore enable equals yes in your rc.conf for it to start up automatically the next time you boot the system. Also enables you to use uh, service tor start. You could put one start if it's not in your rc.conf, but it's just simpler to do this. So there it is, tor underscore enable in the rc.conf file. And clear the screen. We now need to add this to the system control file. And this will introduce a little bit more randomness into uh, our setup. And now we need to start Tor. So because we added it to the rc.conf, we can now just service Tor start. Right, we're going to test it in the browser. I'm using Pale Moon, which uh, is a really good browser, actually. Go to Preferences. Now we need to alter the... Uh, the way it connects to the internet, so we've got to advanced and network. And obviously go to the settings for the configure. Go down to manual and put the socks host, which is just really pointing to a, your own machine with Tor on. And port 9050. Um, I'm going to delete this. I don't know if you need it or not, but I'm going to take it away anyway. And I'm also going to make sure that the use proxy to perform DNS queries is also checked or ticked. Right, we're going to test. Um, there's a Tor check you can go to, and it says there, look, congratulations, Joe, this browser is configured to use Tor. And I can tell you that the IP address is not mine. I think it's based in France by looking at 212, but I might be wrong. So, yeah, the browser is now using the Tor network. That's pretty good for a little bit of anonymity, if you wish that. And we'll go into the uh, preferences to show you what it looks like uh, if I try to access the site if the Tor wasn't running. So I'll just put no proxy. Okay, do. And we'll refresh the page, and it should give you the... Oops, sorry, sorry, you're not using Tor. I've obviously banked out my real IP address. But that's what it looks like if Tor wasn't running, so we now we know it is. And it's really that easy. It's nothing complicated. Um, but now we're going to show you how you can use it for all uh, networking applications, uh, not just the browser that you can change the proxy on. If you install TorSox, which is portmaster net forward slash TorSox, or pkg install TorSox, what this will do, it will funnel any connections using, um, well, really, almost any uh, network programs to use Tor. So you could use it on a, I don't know, like Lynx. The Lynx, the command line browser. Which is really what my original uh, subscriber uh, request was. He wanted to use something like Lynx or etc. Using Tor. So if you actually just enter uh, TorSox, which calls up the program, and also funnels all information through it, and the name of the program, like say, for instance, Pale Moon, it will start up Pale Moon using TorSox. And I'm just going to pop this in. Right, again, that's not my IP, but it's telling me that it's using Tor. If we go into preferences, and look, no proxy is selected. So it's funneling it through Tor, even though I haven't explicitly put it in the preferences. And that's not, again, that's not my IP. Which is all pretty cool. The screen zoomed in a bit. I have to apologize for that, but you can still see what's going on. 
Right, let's install Lynx, which is the um, command line. I'm just going to get rid of that and go up to Direct FB and possibly SVG. Because I like to have these two enabled. This is a command line browser. We'll just install that. It'll take two seconds. And using Tor Socks, it should be that I get the same result as I did on Pale Moon, even though I wasn't explicitly using, in the preferences on Pale Moon, set it to use the uh, Socks, uh, the proxy. It said no proxy at the top, and it still used Tor. So we'll give this one a go. I'll just fast forward this a little bit. It doesn't take long to compile, but you don't want to be waiting. There we go. Let's clear that and exit from root. Clear again, because I like a nice clear screen. If I put Tor Socks, as we did with Pale Moon, but this time we put Links. Obviously the Links screen. And we go into the uh, Tor Check, as we did before, and there we go. Congratulations, this browser is configured to use Tor. And again, that's not my IP, and it's working on a command line console based browser. Oh, I can hear the music starting in the background, so that means that this video is now coming to an end. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.